Hi there, I'm Mark Boyle for, and this is Guy Ramsey from uh, Grip House Glasgow. Um, we're just going to show you a wee bit of uh, Scottish broadsword uh, and free fighting uh, basics and stance and then some free sparring to show you how it works. So if we get a position here, the position is you're standing feet slightly wider than your shoulders, nice base so you can move forward and back. From here your distancing, don't be too close here because basically you can start straight away. You need to be here that you need to enter and back in. One of the best ways and quickest ways to enter is just to come in and touch and flick. Using the nearest target, you can use the wrist, you can go straight for the body, or you can go straight onto the head. You also have the same move which you can attack with the toe or the knee. Okay? The other way to do this is to parry before. Okay? Either hit here and attack. Again, you can hit here and attack, or you can hit here and there on the body, or again here. Okay? You can use this where you come all the way out and back in. Where that would be used, guys, back up a little bit. Where that would be used is the guy is coming in towards me there and then striking with him. Okay? And again, the guy's coming in there and striking. Okay, the first part of that. It's just really a turn and whip and round. As you're turning, you're projecting, presenting the outside edge of the blade as you're turning round, so you're curving it and hitting, okay? Back. As you're doing that, blocking and hit. The turn of the sword is so that you don't blunt your blade or bend your blade. You're actually turning it as you block and then whip it on, okay? Back again. A wee bit of speed. One, two, okay? When you do this, move and lean in, okay? So do a wee bit of footwork, so I'm going to move back. This guy comes, so I'll go here and then back in, okay? And again, comes in, back and in, okay? Use some different targets as he's doing it, so here and reach there, okay? Again, from further back. Here and attacking there. Then for the head, here and there. Straight in, okay? I'm going to put this head guard on and show you a wee bit of life time. So, from here, if guy's looking to score on me, I'm using this to block, okay? Here, there, and hit. Come in, here, and hit, okay? Turn around, here. And you can use this and start to change a wee angle on it as well that if he's coming towards me here. So I'm changing the angle on it and open up there, okay? If it's further away at distance, you can use here to be retreating, to attack there. If I want to move away and move back in, and then back in, okay? Your other hand, while you're doing this, obviously you don't leave it out. You can either be here back, or once you've did the move to go to here, it can be used to follow up and catch onto that hand. Just a wee bit live, you know. Right, now we're going to just do some free flowing live sparring. Uh, the idea is, is to just try and touch, but it's not just a sport. You're not trying to just touch and hit. At the end of the point, if I touch him, like fencing, if he touches me, we're both dead. All right, someone's going to have to walk away from this. So at the point of if I hit him and then he hits me, I need to be able to block that and get away without having a counter. Easier said than done. <laughs> Ready?
Enjoyed that. Um, if you want to find out any more, keep your eye on the Dip House Facebook website page. Um, coming soon, starting here. Classes in uh, traditional Scottish sword fighting. Oh, Glaze got chipped for you. Come to Glasgow, get started. <laughs> Thanks, cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs>